Hello, I'm David Cochran and I'm back with another video breaking down how Amazon works so that you can sell more books. Um, one of the questions I always get anytime I talk about Amazon or marketing or particularly advertising um, is authors wanting to know how they can target Kindle Unlimited readers. And I think one of the reasons why this question is coming up more and more lately is that Authors are beginning to realize, they're just starting to realize just how much money the big dogs are making, the guys at the very top in Kindle Unlimited. And for all this talk of, you know, six-figure authors or whatever, these guys are making six figures a month just from Kindle Unlimited. And then on top of that, of course, they're selling ebooks, selling print books, audiobooks, you know, selling foreign rights to publishers, all sorts of stuff. But often their Kindle Unlimited success is the springboard to all that other good stuff. And we haven't even talked about Kindle Unlimited All-Star bonuses. Um, some of these guys are pulling in five figures a month just from Kindle Unlimited All-Star bonuses. And in case you don't know what they are, Amazon gives out a range of bonuses. It's like the top 100 Kindle Unlimited authors in the US, top 100, 100 uh, Kindle Unlimited titles in the US, and they do something similar in UK and Germany as well. And these top bonuses can be worth up to $25,000 a month. And now to qualify for these, you need to be hitting a lot of page reads on Amazon. So just to hit the bottom of the top 100 in the US, you need to be hitting at least 4 million page reads a month. And for the title bonus, you need to be hitting like 2 million page reads a month. So the bar for these are, are set pretty high. But here's the thing. If you can imagine the author in position number 100 in the top 100 US authors for Kindle Unlimited for just for one single month is posting 4 million page reads, that means there's 99 more posting more than that. And some of these guys are clocking up incredible amounts. And I know for a fact that some of them are earning more than 20 million or some of them are posting more than 20 million page reads a month. So, you know, it's not too hard to do the maths on that. You know, it's not quite half a cent we get per page read, but it's close enough. So you can, you can run the numbers on that and just, you know, figure out yourself just how much money these guys are making. It's quite considerable, which, which brings us back to the original question here. How can you target Kindle Unlimited readers? How can you get some of that page read gold for yourself, right? Um, the answer is simple. You cannot target Kindle Unlimited readers. You can't target them with Facebook ads. You cannot target them with BookBub ads. And you cannot even target them with Amazon ads. Even those semi-secret, super fancy um, Amazon media group promotions, which cost a cool 40 grand, they won't let you target Kindle Unlimited subscribers because there is no way to do it. It just doesn't exist. Well. There's no way to do it directly. There is a way to do it indirectly. So a few years ago, I was racking my brains trying to figure this out. And it was Phoenix Sullivan, fellow author and, and data hound Phoenix Sullivan. Um, she explained to me why the popularity list was the key to all this. Um, in case you're unaware what the popularity list is, I won't go too far down that rabbit hole or we'll be here all day, but I'll put a link in the description so you can, you know, if you really want to geek out on the full details of this popularity list, you can go wild. Um, but just in short, I'll just give you the basics, what you really need to know so that you can change your marketing to take advantage of this. The popularity list is like basically a weird version of the bestseller list, right? Um, it, for example, it measures your sales over the last 30 days. It kind of counts an average, a rolling average of your sales over the last 30 days. So it's much more of a measure of what has been consistently selling over the last month or so compared to the best seller list, which is much more about what is selling really well right now. What's, what's hot in the Kindle store, if you like. Um, there's a lot more quirks to the popularity list than that, but the biggest, the biggest, like the headline news here that should make every Kindle Unlimited author's ears prick up right away is that borrows are not counted on the popularity list. Now, this is deeply, deeply weird, right? Because the other thing about the popularity list is that the popularity list is the main driver of recommendations to Kindle Unlimited readers. So this is a strange situation we're in here right now. Okay, because the main driver of recommendations to Kindle Unlimited readers is the popularity list. And maximizing your position on that is the strategy you need to adopt to start generating lots of page reads for your books. But the popularity itself, list itself doesn't count borrows. So the main tool for getting your book in front of Kindle Unlimited readers doesn't actually count borrows. So when you put all that together, it gets a bit crazy because what I'm suggesting to you today is that if you want to target Kindle Unlimited readers, what you actually need to do is not target them. Not target them. You actually need to target purchasers. And this is why, you know, I'm not a fan of certain strategies I sometimes see in ads. And I'm sure you've seen them yourself. Um, you might have seen them in BookBub ads or Facebook ads where, you know, someone tries to sell it to Kindle Unlimited readers. They're like, you know, this, is a, you know, this book is free in Kindle Unlimited. 
And you know, most people seeing that won't be Kindle Unlimited readers. And they'll click on the ad and you'll pay for that click, of course. And they get taken to your Amazon page and they'll see the book is $3.99 or $4.99. And there's a good chance you're going to lose that sale, right? Especially on BookBub where the readers are pretty price sensitive. And um, what you actually need to do is target purchasers. So this strategy of actually trying to target Kindle Unlimited um, readers is counterproductive. You need to target non-Kindle Unlimited readers to have Kindle Unlimited success. I know this is quite counterintuitive, um, but I think there's a logic to it in, in why Amazon has done this. Um, we know Amazon is split testing things around the site all the time. We see evidence of this all the time. We've seen it historically. And I've seen them before split test three different versions of the popularity list. Um, so I strongly suspect, and this part I'm just speculating, the rest is pretty solid. There's some pure speculation here, but I suspect that Amazon tested an iteration of the popularity list and saw that if it counted borrows on the popularity list, it created this massive feedback loop that was just way too strong and that KU books just dominated the Kindle store. And with apologies to all the conspiracy theorists out there, um, sometimes Amazon does make changes to the algorithms which disfavor Kindle Unlimited books or disfavor Amazon publishing books at their own imprints. Um, Amazon is mostly concerned with how readers will respond to the mix of books they're getting recommended. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that they tested a version of the popularity list with borrows and that readers just didn't like it because they were just getting recommended too many unfamiliar books or just the mix was too tilted in favor of Kindle Unlimited. So it doesn't count borrows. So that's your, that's your big takeaway here, that if you want to rack up giant page reads, what you need to start doing is coming up with a marketing plan that is actually optimized, not optimized for what you might usually do. You might normally be optimizing for maximizing income. That's probably the most common strategy. Occasionally you veer away from that because you're trying to build audience. Maybe you'll you know, make a book free or make a book perma free or there's a variety of things you do which don't necessarily maximize your income today because you're trying to build something bigger for tomorrow, right? We all do that now and then. Um, in this case, if you want to start aiming for those really big Kindle Unlimited numbers or just increase your performance in Kindle Unlimited, not everyone will be shooting for, you know, those 4 million, 5 million page read totals, and that's fine. But if you want to improve your performance in Kindle Unlimited, and this, this works at all scales, you don't need to have, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars to spend on Facebook ads to implement these lessons. But what you need to do is start looking at the popularity list. Check out that link in the description and start and actually drill down to your niche because it's just like the bestseller list in that it's broken down in the exact same 13,000 categories. You know, all the categories and subcategories on Amazon have their own bestseller list. Well, the popularity list is broken down just like that. So you can drill down to your niche, whatever that happens to be, whether it's, you know, romantic suspense or Japanese historical fiction or whatever it is you write. Look at the bestseller list. Then look at the popularity list for your genre and start getting a feel of how these things are different. And the next time you run a promotion, you've got to start looking at where you're popping up to on the popularity list. And one thing I find just for when you're designing your campaigns, just to give you a little tip, like I will do more videos directly on how to put together a marketing plan, how to put together a launch plan, and one that specifically works with the Amazon algorithms instead of fighting them. And that's the key here. You know, the key isn't throwing money. Like um, I, I've managed campaigns which have garnered all stars and I've done it many, many, many times. And I've done it on a fraction of the budget that other people are spending. So you can, you can, you can do this on a 10th of the budget that someone else is spending who doesn't know what they're doing, right? And it's not just about being good with ads necessarily, it's about arranging all the pieces together so that you get the greatest algorithmic benefit from your marketing campaign. Um, and one thing, one thing that you can just take away from this right away is that uh, you need to start thinking about what kind of campaigns can rack up the maximum number of sales because success in Kindle Unlimited and you know, good placement on the popularity list is all about visibility. And you have to be willing to sacrifice a lot on the altar of visibility. Basically, you have to be willing to give up some income today for a greater income tomorrow. But we'll, we'll explore all that more in a future video. Definitely check out the resources in the description. I'm gonna to link to a bunch of things that can help you start putting together the kind of campaigns that can really increase your page reads, that really work with the algorithms, and to use your sales, and this is the key, use sales as your springboard to get those borrows. You don't shoot for borrows directly, you use sales and freebies as your springboard to grab those borrows. Um, so check the resource in the description, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, and I'll have another video very soon, and I'll see you later.